Hello, everyone. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, we're going to get started in about 25 seconds. There's a lot of people joining right now. And if you're one of those who are just joining, I uh, wish you welcome, and we will start in a few seconds. All right, welcome everyone to the latest uh, latest webinar from uh, from Hostaway. Uh, with us today, we have two industry heavy hitters. We have uh, Don Murray from Orlando. He's been with Booking.com 11 years. Um, and we have our one of our senior customer success team members, Andrew from Hostaway. Um, what we're gonna go through today is a couple of exciting new developments over at Booking.com. Um, and the best part is this session is going to be interactive. You'll, you'll be able to ask questions. Um, Andrew will also show you um, and answer hopefully any remaining questions you have regarding uh, Booking.com and Hostaway. And at the end, we'll go through your, your questions. Just one thing about the questions, please use the QA function there uh, on Zoom and uh, try to hold off just a bit because we, we asked a lot of you before this webinar, which questions do you have? Uh, what would you like to see answered? Uh, so we will answer a lot of them during the presentation. And um, um, so, so yeah, hold off asking your questions until, until a bit later. Um, and for those of you who just joined, my name is Marcus. I'm from, uh, from Hostaway. Um, we're one of the leading PMS and channel manager solutions for vacation rental property managers. Um, and we are, once again, the fastest growing in the entire industry. We also have the largest marketplace. we got over 100 uh, integrated software partners, including our premier partner, Booking.com, uh, that we're very proud to have a webinar here together with today. So welcome, everyone. Um, now I would like to hand over to Don. Don, welcome very much. And stage is yours thank you thank you very much uh, and thank you hostaway team for having me on the call today um, let me go ahead and share my screen okay hopefully you can see that now um, again my name is don murray i'm a senior account manager for booking.com I'm based out of Orlando, Florida, and I manage a team that's responsible, responsible for onboarding property management companies for, the, for all of the US. Um, I recently learned that Hostaway has quite a few groups that aren't currently working with us. So we talked, I heard about this call and, and was grateful and, and happy to be able to join this today to, uh, to explain the value of a booking.com partnership. Uh, so I put together about 12 slides and they'll explain you know, why it's important to have a healthy distribution um, and in order to make sure that all your properties are getting the most visibility to all the potential guests uh, out there looking. So why booking? Well, we can just jump right into this. Um, reason number one is that it's a very effective marketing investment. We pay for the marketing up front and our partners collect first. It's really that simple. Um, our international reach is another great reason. We have an enormous amount of traffic on booking with guests from all around the world that are constantly looking for places to stay. And uh, it's also never recommended to have all of your eggs in one basket. So having that healthy distribution out there is super important. Uh, we have a lot of loyal guests at booking. So for those guests that just use booking, they, uh, they may not know your properties exist. So super important to get the, uh, the, the right distribution out there. We also have an optimized customer journey. Uh, that's from desktop, phone, uh, desktop to phone and tablets, and it's fully optimized and can, all the content can be translated in up to 40 languages. And uh, we also, we put a lot of effort into the guest, um, guest experience. Super important for us to make sure that we remove all the friction from the booking process. I have another slide coming up shortly that will uh, explain that in a little more depth. And then lastly, I wanted to also discuss the support. We offer many different ways to offer support for all of our partners. And that's from performance data to uh, online communities within our partner hub, where uh, partners can actually talk amongst themselves and learn from each other.
And at Booking, we, uh, we do bring the world's largest online travel community uh, to all of our partners. It's our last public statistics were that we were delivering over 1.5 million room nights every 24 hours. And while those statistics might be pre-pandemic, it is important to know too that, um, that we have many markets, especially vacation rental markets in the US that are doing better than they've ever done before. Uh, the other unique thing about booking is we do transfer a lot of habitual hotel bookers into vacation rental bookers. So as we're getting more and more branded in the vacation rental segment, we also have many guests that are actually making that adjustment. While they, their original plan was to book a hotel, they get on booking, find the huge amount of vacation rentals that we also offer. So uh, having your properties on that could be expanding your doors to uh, a whole new audience. That's a really good uh, good point there because um, when you look at the the landscape, the competing landscape in the OTAs, uh, the others tend to separate these two segments quite well. But from from the consumer point of view, it's it's all in the same place, and that's unique for such a big OTA uh, as Booking.com, and especially right now when when people's well, their consumers' habits have changed. Um, in a way that probably won't go back anytime soon, meaning they, they might prefer to see exactly what you see here on the screen instead of a hotel room. Um, now it's even more important than before to be available for exactly those travelers who may not know what they're looking for when they start their booking process. Exactly, great clarification there. Um, and this here shows a glimpse of what your property would look like on the front end uh, and how we give and ensure that guests have the best experience when booking. So all of our property pages and features are from years of uh, A-B testing. We're constantly doing tests, uh, actually over a thousand different tests that are done at all times on, on our three platforms to ensure that we are uh, constantly being aware of any, any differences in ways that guests are shopping, where we look and see which ways that they're converting and, uh, and constantly be moving forward to make sure that we are getting optimized as well as possible. Uh, we also verify all of the guest reviews. So guests have to have stayed at the property to be able to leave a review. And uh, not all sites do that. So super important to, to be able to, for guests to know that they can get in there and trust the reviews on our site. All right, and we've also implemented tool to, tools that are designed specifically for our vacation rental partners and, and also those managing them. And that's can be anything from setting your own house rules, such as no parties, no pets. Uh, you can also set up quiet hours. You're also able to create a host profile. Uh, we even allow the brand names to be put into there. So another great way for you to get additional exposure. Uh, you can add guest requirements, report guest misconduct, uh, we also advise, uh, have an area where you can advise guests on how to go about key collection or lock boxes, things like that. And uh, we've also made it much easier, and we'll talk more on this in a little while, but much, made it much easier for our uh, groups to get registered and come on board on the booking. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about the marketing piece. Um, our partner, all of our partners benefit from the extensive amount of marketing that we do with our affiliate partners. Uh, many different sites like Google, Kayak, Trivago, Agoda. Uh, we've got Southwestern American Airlines on there, uh, but over 12,500 affiliate partner sites um, that all of our partners benefit from just by working with Booking.com. Of course, nothing shows any differently on any of those sites. It's all connected through APIs, so it's all automated. And whatever shows through there is pulled directly from Booking, so everything is uh, shown just as it were, just as it is on Booking.com. Uh, so this is also known as our secret sauce. Uh, it's really one of the most powerful parts of our marketing, and um, this comes at no additional cost. And a lot of these channels too, if you were working with them directly there would be some sort of fee involved. So you get access to all of these different uh, affiliate partners that we work with at no additional cost or effort. All right, also wanted to touch on um, the data that we provide. 
We have lots of analytics that are really important and helpful for you to run your business. And this is data that you could take and apply to all of your business, not just booking.com, super helpful data. Uh, but it will give you, you can track your performance. You can view the traffic so, you know, in regards to how many people searched your property or how many people searched your market to see what type of conversion that you have in regards to how many bookings you're getting or how many clicks that your profile is getting. Uh, you can look at booking window, length of stay. Uh, you can also track your competitors on this. So lots of very helpful uh, analytics that you'll have access to as a partner. Uh, and also much more than this too. Uh, you can even see where guests are coming from. Uh, so it helps you really put together a good revenue strategy and make sure that you're touching all the right points. I also, um, when I'm talking with Hostaway, they brought up a couple of concerns that they've been hearing, which is um, what I'm learning, maybe some of the reasons why not every group is working with us. So I wanted to just directly address some of these. So I included a couple that, that were shared with me. Uh, one was about fraud and how to avoid that. Uh, the example I was giving is, was given was about a guest that had uh, reported a credit card as stolen and, uh, because it didn't match the reservation, uh, the name on the reservation. So it's not something that booking.com does require, but we do have a workaround for that. Uh, so if, if you do get a, a, um, a guess at books and the name on the reservation is different than the, reser than the name on the credit card, then what can be done is that credit card be, can be marked as invalid and, uh, and then it can be explained to the guests on why it's invalid. So the guest has then an opportunity to, to provide you with a valid credit card. And if they don't do that within 24 hours, then you have the option to go ahead and cancel that reservation. So uh, that's definitely a, one that I would recommend doing and a, a very easy process to do as well. Another one that I was informed of was on chargebacks. Um, so we do have some ways to prevent those as well. Uh, really what we've noticed is that a lot of times it's the more information, the better on how you can prevent a chargeback. And we have templates that are built into our system that enable you to have automated messages that are going out to all of your guests immediately after they book. It can be your rental agreement. Uh, and you can even have on the rental agreement that you require a signed agreement returned within say 48 hours. And if guests don't do that, you do have the option to cancel that reservation. Uh, but the more information, the better. And really just, there's lots of other templates that you can put in there to have the communication automated. But, uh, but really, you know, chargebacks are terrible. They can happen on any channel, but the best way to go about it is to just protect yourself as much as possible. And this is what we recommend is just being very communicative on, the, um, on all the details that are sent to the guests. And then I also wanted to share a nice update that um, will also help in the case of a chargeback if you were to ever, it'll basically remove those. So uh, we're going to be offering a payments product uh, within the next month is the, is, the, is the tentative timeline. It's currently in beta test and um, it's expected to roll out this quarter. But basically what this product looks like is it will be a wire transfer. Booking.com would take payment and facilitate the payment. We would take it, hold it, and we do payouts on a daily basis for all arrivals every day along with the CSV file for all easy reconciling. Uh, so since we're gonna be facilitating the payment, um, any chargebacks that were to come through would be absorbed by booking. So you would never even be aware if there was a chargeback. Um, the good thing about this tool, again, is it's been a long time coming and we're very close to getting it rolled out. So uh, for all the groups that are currently on, already on board, it's gonna be a really quick and easy process to get those added. So I um, highly encourage any of, any of you that are looking to come on board to go ahead and get that part done. And then this can be quickly added uh, very soon, soon after. Um, I think I have another slide on here that also explains the benefits. Yes, so it's, it's guaranteed payments um, on all bookings. We do have the enhanced fraud and chargeback protection on this. And uh, another big piece of this that, we, that I forgot to mention is 
the reduction that we've seen so far for the properties that are currently part of the beta test. Um, a big part of that is huge reduction in cancellations. Uh, cancellations are uh, one, one thing that I hear a lot of that, that we tend to have a higher amount of. And a lot of times that's due to an invalid credit card. The guest didn't actually cancel, but it was a credit card that, that triggered the cancellation. So with us sending over only clean uh, bookings, the cancellation rate will definitely go down. And we're already seeing that with, um, with our groups that are part of the beta test. So super, super excited about that one. And um, again, coming soon, and the hope is, is that we can go ahead and get groups that are going to be coming on board ready and open before that's available, and then we can quickly switch those on. Um, I also wanted to touch on some of the partner support that we provide. Uh, our partner hub, it's also, also known as uh, partner help. This is what all of our partners have access to. And it's a great tool to get any type of information related to booking uh, or just industry data. It uh, enables you to communicate with other partners if you like. It's basically like a search engine, like a Google search engine for booking. There's a search bar in there where you can type in anything that you're interested in that's related to booking and get that data from there. Uh, so highly recommend, um, if you're already working with booking, hopefully you're using that. If not, I highly encourage it. And for those of you coming on board, definitely consider uh, having that as a bookmark. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel that's directly just for booking that you can uh, subscribe to that offers a lot of good information. And then of course, our accommodation services, which is available 24 seven, uh, always available to, to uh, offer support as well. And additionally, um, this is what I kind of spoke on earlier, but this is the partner forum where you can talk with other, other existing partners um, on tips, uh, just different ways to go about running your business. There's lots of good communication going on in that forum. And a last way to get support also, uh, or just another additional way, we have many ways, but this is another great one, is uh, our inbox. So you can choose which message that, or which department you're trying to reach. And we have teams ready and available to respond to you within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, they have SLAs tied to their response time and all knowledgeable and ready to respond and for that support. I feel like that went kind of quick, but hopefully that was insightful for you and offered some good information for you. Uh, the goal really here is uh, I wanted to make sure that we were letting everyone know that booking definitely is here for the long run. We're, uh, we're listening to our partners. Uh, we're constantly doing improvements and we've come a long way and uh, hoping to get, get you guys all on board and make sure that you have all the support that you need. And I'll now hand it back over to Marcus um, and take it from there. Thank you very much, Don. That sounds like some very exciting changes coming up. Um, just, uh, just a comment here. I see a lot of you have posted really great questions that we'll get to uh, soon, but you're posting them in the chat. So that makes it very hard for us to, to find them later on. Um, so if you wouldn't mind going to the QA section in your Zoom app and uh, putting them there, that would help us a lot. Um, now I'd like to hand over to, to Andrew, um, one of our senior customer success managers, and he's, uh, he's going to share a bit uh, his view uh, because he spends a lot of time talking to people, especially property managers uh, who are using HostAway. And uh, he's going to address his point of view on, uh, and for example, answer the question, how long does it take to get, uh, get listed on, on booking.com? So I'll hand over to, to Andrew. Well, thank you, Marcus. Uh, thank you, Don. Uh, wow, it is a pleasure to be here. You know, I have uh, been a customer support senior on booking.com for over two years, and I helped many of the customer support uh, partners that Don was mentioning. You know, I was there helping to train them and assisting them. And here on Hostaway, I'm responsible for the onboarding success of our partners, our clients that are joining us, owners, property managers, just like you, that are watching us, right? So there are several things, you know, that they have mentioned, you know, Marcus and 
sorry, that I can show you, you know, that is the, we have some features on booking on booking.com that works very well with uh, with hostaway and vice versa and uh, some of them i intend to show you now can you see my screen yeah okay so for example multi unit Right, so booking.com allows you to have a multi-unit property and so does uh, Hostaway, right? So as you can see, this is something natural, you know, it's not artificial, you know, you can have your guest in one unit, you know, and then we can move the guest to another unit and that's done, you know, in a very simple way, right? So this is something that not many softwares have and our does that, you know, and that integration, I know it is very important, especially for clients that have multi-units on booking.com. Uh, another thing that we have, you know, that many of the softwares that I see from clients that are onboarding with us are the reviews, right? As you can see, the reviews, they're directly integrated here, right? So you can see any review from booking.com and you can see details, you can filter them out, and you can even reply to them from here, right? So it is a way to manage everything from a single dashboard. Another feature, you know, that I believe it is very important is the financial reporting, right? So if you have a connection between Hostaway and Booking.com, Booking.com makes all the information available and we can integrate everything here and bring it to the financial reporting, right? Financial reporting is one of the main reasons why uh, many of our clients are coming here, right? Because we collect uh, very good data uh, from the OTAs and Booking.com is not an exception, right? They share the data and we can run reports, you know, exclusively for booking.com and of course with other channels as well. But if you need to run reports from here, you'll be able to see it uh, on the breakdown level with the fees, with formulas, with commissions, if you're a property manager or owner. Uh, what else can I show you here? And uh, on what Marcus was saying, right? Uh, how easy it is to connect your listing with booking.com, right? Let's say you are already uh, a partner with booking.com and you want to bring your properties and connect them to Hostaway, right? It is a simple process, right? You just go to booking.com and you inform booking.com that you want to connect your listing with Hostaway. And then we add this listing here and we can come here and map it, right? And boom your listing is connected. And when you do that, don't forget to pay attention to the connectivity index. And you see that one, ours is one of the highest in the market, right? It's very close to 100%. Uh, another thing, if you already have the listing and the listing is here on Hostaway, but it still is not on uh, booking.com, we can do the other way around. We can of course, uh, assuming that you have an account. So if you don't have an account, you can create an account or we can talk to Don's team, you know, and they will support you on creating one new account. And uh, once we have an account there, you know, we can add your legal entity ID here, you know, save it, and then we can export your listing. So we can create your listing that, a pre-existing listing that is already created here on uh, Hostaway we can create with all the settings, everything directly into booking.com, right? So that's a convenience. It's a convenience for someone that has uh, three or four listings, but imagine someone with dozens of listings, you know, that never been to booking.com and they want to take advantage, you know, of uh, booking.com is offering, like Dan was explaining. So, instead of having to do rebuild one by one on booking.com, we can export them from here and you have it. So it's a, a very seamless process that you can take advantage. 
right? So this works very well for our current clients that are already with us connected with other channels and already have the listings all prepared. So it is as easy, you know, as that to get it connected. And uh, the listing is created on booking.com. The ones that are with us, you know, that uh, are already on booking.com, but didn't know about that, you know, we can always map. Or if you want to move, you know, to booking.com to and the uh, host away, you know, this are some of the reasons, you know, that you should consider, you know, if that's still not enough, you can talk to one of uh, our sales team, you know, and myself included, and we'll be glad to show you more about our features. And that's it. Thank you. Anything that you would like to add, Marcus? No, thank you very much for the for the presentation. Um, uh, yeah, we're we're also integrated, of course, with the messaging system of of Booking.com, and it's worth mentioning that not everyone has access to that, um, and that makes sure that no communication is lost with uh, with the guests. Um, now uh, let's let's get to the questions. There's there's a lot of really good questions here, and you can go to the QA. QA section and and uh, type in your question. So the first question that we got already 20 minutes ago is from April here. Uh, Don, could you address a little bit about STR regulations? How is that managed on Booking.com side? Uh, what is the impact and how how does it work in general? Yes, we, we try to do the right thing and honor the, the local restrictions and regulations. Uh, we don't require a, um, a permit unless the, that market requires it. Um, so, so if we've had some groups that just want to list their, list their business license, for example, um, in markets that don't require it, uh, they do need to inform us because we'd have to create a section that enables them to add that but we don't recommend or require that licenses be added to property profiles unless that market is required is requesting it. But um, I hope that answers the question, but really it's, we do try to um, honor the local restrictions. We do also combat them. Uh, we, we have a PR team that is, uh, that is very involved, but, um, but, but yeah, we, we only require the business license to be listed on the profile if that local market requires it. All right, thank you. Then, then we have Anna who asked, uh, asked a question about guest misconduct reporting. Um, is there any compensation fund available for hosts that register property damage related to a booking received from booking.com? Um, we, we have actually a solution for this on Hostaway side, but it would be interesting to hear Dawn's uh, view, views on this as well. Yeah, we have we we um, we don't have a fund per se. We do have liability insurance uh, that is actually fairly new that we provide, and then we can also do a damage waiver. Uh, so we can help that make sure that the partners have the guest credit card, and uh, in case it's needed to be used for any damage, we do have a damage waiver that is coming. Also, and I don't know the details of what that looks like yet. It is on our roadmap. But um, I'm not sure if that answers the question because it's not necessarily a fund that is that is um, that we have set on our end, but it is going to be a new way for our partners to uh, to set a damage waiver more easily for guests to uh, basically have their credit card down in case it's needed for any damage. Yeah, and if you're uh, if you're a hostaway customer or considering uh, becoming one, this is of course not an issue for you because you can use our marketplace and and get the damage waiver already today. We have many partners. I would recommend safely. Um, it's a great way for property managers to actually make more money. Um, so no matter what happens to any damages, uh, they are of course covered by the insurance which is paid for by the guest. And as Don just said, you can add it as a fee inside booking.com. Um, but the best part is a part of that insurance payment or the damage waiver, which is what you pay instead of damage deposit, um, is a non-refundable fee to the guest, but the property manager makes money on it. 
So you actually want to make sure you get as many bookings as possible because you make more money in addition to whatever commission you make on a nightly rate. And that's uh, that's why we recommend that anyone who's on here not using Hostaway, well, you should definitely be using Hostaway. Um, let's see here. So there's a question from Nabil to Don, and there were a few questions regarding payments here. So some, some people on webinar have... Uh, are using payments by booking.com, um, but which properties is it available for and which one isn't it available for? Yes, yeah, it's, um, so we have a couple of different payments products that are currently out there um, and some are in different regions, but here in the US, we have one that is um, dedicated to our hotel side. And then we have one that is for our single property owners for our vacation rentals. It's not designed for property management companies. So uh, that's the one that's that's going to be rolling out next month. Um, but the one that I think that's being referred to in the questions here is a product that's for our single property owners. And the way that properties get put into that is during the initial build by uh, selecting that they aren't able to accept credit cards uh, because this product is a temporary tool. And again, it's only designed to work properly for the single property owners. Uh, so multiple properties is not guaranteed to be functional. We highly recommend it. And then to get taken off that is a manual process too. We can support that, but just in case, um, just don't add that. Uh, whenever you're building, select that you do accept credit cards. Um, but because it's designed for our single property owners, it can facilitate payment. But again, it's designed for single property owners. So if you didn't, if you chose that you don't select or can't collect credit cards, then you could default into that because that's what it's designed for. If you, during the build, made it look like you were just registering one property instead of registering as a property manager. Um, that's the, the difference between the two. Um, I know that sounds a little confusing, so I'm happy to address that any further if needed. But, uh, but again, the, the biggest difference is, is the product that anyone out there is using right now is designed for a single property owner. And uh, the one that's coming next month will be custom designed for property managers in the US. All right, I saw, thanks a lot, Don. I, I noticed Rachel also asked a similar question about getting credit cards that are not valid. Um, we have a function in, in, in Hostaway, you click the reservation details and you, do, you can just mark the credit card as invalid. That will um, set off a trigger within booking.com that tells the guest to upload a proper credit card or it automatically cancels the reservations after, after 24 hours. So if you're using Hostaway, you don't have these, these problems that you're describing. Um, but if you didn't notice, there's the button mark credit card as invalid, then go and look at it next time. Next time this happens, uh, it's, it's really practical because it automatically cancels the, the reservation if, if nothing happens. Um, then uh, there's a question from Robert that I think is, is good. What are the fees for booking.com? um let me see what are the fees or like the our commission structure yes okay so we we don't have any additional fees for the guest uh unlike some of our competition they have a their commission plus a service charge that's included in the fee structure that uh when you add that up you know that's that's something that you need to be aware of that's part of the total cost of your reservations with booking we are 15 percent commission but again, there's zero uh, service charge for the guest. So if you did have a service charge built into your rate structure that was comparable to some of the other channels, you would collect that. Whereas some of our competitors, they collect that. They also charge a commission on that, even though they're collecting it. Uh, but with ours, there is no additional cost. Uh, so if you were to look at a reservation on what the total cost of that reservation was, and then do the math to see what percentage of that reservation you're putting in your pocket. If you had a service charge on our end that you're putting in your pocket, um, and then you take that 15% commission out, it is the very, very similar. And in many cases, we're more profitable um, when we have that same rate structure in place. All right, then we got a question here for, for Andrew. 
uh, Renata is asking when when exporting existing listings from Hostaway to Booking.com is the integration instant. Maybe you could walk us through a little bit of how how what it usually looks like and how long it would take to get a property live on Booking.com. Well, that takes uh, that takes about. 48 hours at least, because we have to review that content, right? So before we put it through, even though, you know, it's a, a, an automatic process, you know, we have a team that will review if, if everything complies to, to booking.com, right? And of course, we have to comply to any uh, uh, request needed, you know, all the process from booking.com to approve the property to go live, right? It means one thing is to create the listing, but the other thing is uh, to have it validated and open and bookable, right? So we can push the information, we can create the listing there, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, it has to be bookable and open and bookable, you know, according to booking.com rules, right? So, but that it's, uh, uh, it's part of the process, right? Like any validation of uh, a new listing on any other OTA. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Then we got a question here from um, from Pontus in Sweden. Uh, they're asking uh, about how easy it is to cancel a booking if a guest is a bad guest. Uh, to give some background for, for everyone here, we work with a lot of partners. For example, AutoHost is fantastic at uh, verifying the credit card, the ID, and the face of the person who is booking to make sure you don't have any fraud. Um, but yeah, what if you get a booking and you find out that this is going to be a very, very bad experience? Can you cancel the booking? Don, could you elaborate a bit on that? Yes, it's um, it's it's kind of a hard question to answer because it would really depend on the situation. If it's a if it's a guest that is doing something that is against the policies that they booked, then absolutely, yes. Um, but if to just assume we can't, you know, we've seen some that they do tons of background checking on groups or on, on, on guests, and we can't just assume that, but if there was something that a guest was doing bad behavior, yes, you can ask, uh, you can ask the guest to leave. And, um, but, but we can't, the only thing we can't do is we can't just assume that a guest would be a bad guest and cancel. If unless, you know, there would, there would need to, we would need to have more information, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It would, and it would have to be circumstantial, but, but, uh, but it would need to be something that is actually done and not assumed. But can you put in the terms, can, can you just mention that anyone booking here, they need to have, uh, for example, they need to their name needs to be the same as their ID and the same as their credit card and the same as their is it is that Correct. possible? Yes, yes, um, yes. Yeah, so in, that was what I was mentioning earlier in the templates that you have the option to have uh, automated and sent out to guests immediately after they book, and you can have all that information in your rental agreement and require that that be signed and returned. Uh, within a time frame, say 48, 72 hours. And if they don't have that signed and returned to you within that time frame, you do have the option to cancel it if you want. So a lot of times that can help as well um, because they basically have given you the right to go ahead and cancel. But again, it's up to you if you want to do that. All right. Then we got a couple of uh, questions here regarding our marketplace that I can answer. Uh, Lori is asking if uh, if the integration with Booking.com works with Authorize.net. One thing that makes Hostaway quite unique is that we have really almost unlimited choice when it comes to payment processing. Um, and yes, Booking.com does connect to Authorize.net. Through that, you can connect to a lot of different banks and payment providers, but you can also use Braintree and Stripe. Um, then we had a question about, um, about Price Labs as well. Um, yes, we are. you're able to, to use Price Labs, and I think we have five or six other dynamic pricing providers um on our marketplace and you can they, they will put it put the rates inside Hostaway, and then you apply a property and ota specific markup so that the price ends up being the same on all the otas depending on your fee structure 
So um, you are able to use dynamic pricing on booking.com through HostAway. Um, then I saw a couple of questions here. I think this might be too complex for both Andrew and Don, but let's let's give it a try. Let's put it to the test. What about local and state taxes? Can booking.com collect them, manage them, report on them, or is it perhaps it depends? And I can speak on the U.S. I'm not, and I believe this is global, but I'll at least speak on the on, on the U.S. Um, that we don't because we're not merchant of record. We don't handle the tax part. Um, and even with our new payments product that's coming soon, we will still technically not be merchant of record because we are just facilitating the payment. We're not actually collecting it and doing anything with that payment. We're just taking it, holding it, and then um, the our wire bank wire transfer for all reservations checking in every day so um the feedback that we received from many so far is that's how they prefer it as well uh but but to answer the question uh no we don't handle the taxes all right thanks uh thanks a lot um then I think Roy had a great question here for booking.com. Um, is there a way to get your listings priority on booking.com? Or to, to ask it in a slightly different way, what should you do to get on the top of the search results on booking.com? Great question. I love that question because there is a lot that you can do. It's um, when you first come on board, we do have tagging that helps identify new properties. Tagging works very well on booking, and it's something that we do better than, than anyone in the industry is helping expose with different tags. Um, but whenever you come on board, you'll have a mid-tier ranking. So we give every new property the opportunity to, to take off. So it's highly recommended to be as optimized as possible so that, um, so that you're converting. Your properties will get a lot of traffic. Uh, and making sure that those properties are converting, meaning that how many guests are booking versus just looking at the profile, will determine how you can continue to grow in the ranking. We also have different products available, uh, like Genius. That's our that's kind of like our guest loyalty program uh, for those types of guests. When they're logged into their account, they would see properties that are running rates just for them. That's one way to go about it. We have millions and millions of Genius guests. Uh, another reason why you want to be on booking because those guests are often very loyal to booking but um and then we have other programs like our preferred program um it does you know that you need to be eligible for it it's based on performance but what it does is it it, it will give you an extra boost in ranking so because we're a performance-based uh, platform we don't collect anything until after our partners collect it's important that our partners do well so, uh, so we're definitely well vested in, in making sure that you do as well as possible. And for those that are booking well, uh, getting lots of reservations, we do want to get those properties the most visibility. And, um, and But our ranking is very fair as well. So you have just the natural organic ranking, and that's based on how well properties are performing. Uh, so the better the conversion, the higher the ranking. And then we also have additional tools to even support that even further. All right, thank you. Then uh, uh, Carol has a question regarding, this is more for, for Hostaway. Um, she says she has a large property that sometimes it's rented out as individual rooms. Can Hostaway support that uh, and block the parent property of a single room is reserved? Yes, we can support that. And um, even better, you can choose how to advertise it then on booking.com. You can either have it as separate room categories within the same property and map that up, um, or you can have it as separate properties on booking.com and any other OTAs. Um, then uh, here's a question from, from Jason that, uh, that often comes up. Um, Andrew mentioned earlier, in order to get your properties live, um, you, you need to find a legal entity ID. Where can you find a legal entity ID on booking.com? Oh, the best way is to talk to your account manager, right, Don? someone from booking.com uh, that has uh, managed your, your property, you can always contact them and they will provide the legal entity ID. And uh, with that number, you know, 
all you have to do is insert that number on a host away dashboard and then you can export the listings right but that's that's a number that you have to access on booking.com and they will be able to help you with that all right uh, looks is, like is we... there a place that we can sit down uh, i don't think so right so they have to contact you correct yeah it looks like we lost uh, lost don here so we can take um um take a few questions here um yes there's a long wait list on yeah renata is asking about how long does it take to get live there's a long wait list on some otas there's no wait list on on booking.com right now uh then there was a question about taxes i'll mark that as done we still have 17 open questions here we got 15 minutes um, I did see anonymous attendee ask a question. I usually don't pick those up, but I saw, saw that Roy asked a very similar question um, about the user interface at booking.com. I think uh, the, the format anonymous attendee used was that the website sucks bad. Um, I, all, all I can say, say to that is that you shouldn't really be using that. Uh, the whole point of having a PMS and a channel manager is to manage your entire business operation and delegate the tasks to your staff with one user interface that you have access to on desktop, on a tablet, on mobile, and uh, through various notifications that you set up. The whole reason why Hostaway even exists as a company is that very comment that some websites suck and they're difficult to use you shouldn't have to go through the time of learning how everything works when all the functionality is already available in one interface. Um, that's all I have to say about uh, about that. Um, oh, it looks like some of these questions are already answered, such as the one about damage deposit. Um, let's see, pricing was also answered here. Uh, Laurie asked a good question. Can we start slowly by going live with just one or two properties, then add the rest once we're comfortable with the platform? Hey, Don, welcome back. Sorry about that. Um, my internet's usually very strong, but I can completely shut off for about 30 seconds. That's, uh, that's perfectly fine. We went through a couple of questions that, uh, that weren't for you. But, uh, but yeah, Laurie, you asked if you can go live with just one or two properties. Yes, yes, you certainly can. Uh, of course, there's um, there's two incentives that were mentioned here to go live as fast as possible. One is the the in in some key markets there will be a discount for for net new customers, and the other one is the the payment processing. Of course, the sooner you go live, uh, if you're live by the end of the month, you have a very high chance of getting access to it uh, next month. Um, but you can start with one or two. Um, then, hey, Marcus, yeah. I was going to chime in on that too. I was actually in mid response to that question when I got kicked off. Um, that um, just a reminder that, you know, it's just if you're trying to be careful, to just keep in mind that you do have full control of your rates, availability, restrictions, policies. Um, so, so, getting all the properties on board is is ideal and then to know that once they're on board you have control full control of how you want those properties to be uh showing and listed on the front so you can go ahead and get it all done at once on getting those built and pushed and then decide on how you want to manage those after but you do have full control so uh, i just want to make sure in case that was the concern all right and then well, let's see here. We have 13 questions open. Uh, Connor asked a really uh, good question here uh, that I like to hear, hear Don's opinion on. I have my own opinions, but uh, how would you say the guest profile is different if you compare uh, Verbo, Airbnb, and Booking.com? Have you seen any trends? I know it depends a lot on the, the region and the segment and uh, probably price point as well, but what can you share, Don, about the, the guest profile uh, compared to your competition? Yeah, I, I would say that ours is definitely a, uh, a stronger mix in regards to international travel. Uh, we have a huge global audience. 
Uh, but in regards to like, you know, I don't know that we have as many millennials as some of our competitors uh, that, but, but we do have lots of families and lots of leisure travel um, on our site. So I don't really know the differences in all the, the, um, the other little pieces there, but, but we do have a lot of the international guests. International. All right. Um, then there was another good question here from Connor. Um, does listing on booking.com, does it get distributed on, on the booking holdings network? Uh, Agoda, Kayak, Priceline? Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah, so even though they are sister companies, they're also our affiliates. Uh, so properties are automatically, um, our affiliates have the option to pull the inventory from all of our partners. So Priceline, Agoda, uh, two very, you know, Agoda is a very, very popular channel in Asia and growing significantly here in the US too. But, uh, but yeah, so all of our sister companies for sure. All right, then, and uh, Don, since we want to get, uh, get these uh, properties live on booking.com, um, Jason is, uh, is asking again about legal entity ID. He can't find a number for the account manager. So how do you find the number or the email address of the account manager so you can get the legal entity ID? Yes, great question. We want to make sure we get the legal entity ID to all of our partners and, uh, and over to Hostaway also as quickly as possible. Um, it depends on where the properties are located. So, if, so I can work closely with Hostaway too to um, to make sure that we're getting those to you as quickly as possible, uh, because we have teams scrat scattered around the country. And um, so, yeah, I guess the the quickest way to get that, you can always message through through that. Um, that inbox in the extra net but also if host away if you guys know of groups that are based on where they're located just shoot me a message however we want to do that I'm, we jump on those immediately to make sure that those are those are uh, available because that's a, obviously an important thing for host away to have to build and push sounds uh sounds good don there was someone else that asked there uh how to get in touch with you uh maybe you could put your preferred method of contact uh, on the on the chat yes yes i'll i'll uh, i'll put my email on there and uh, you guys can reach out if you need me to help get leids sent over to host away i'm super happy to help with that uh, just provide me with um, the name of the of the company and uh, the email tied to the account and if you have the account id if you're already built even better if you um, if you don't have the account ID, or if, say you haven't registered at all, uh, another way that you could uh, that we could speed up the process is to send me um, an email that you're interested in getting registered, and I'll have the right person reach out to you to make sure you have all the support you need to come on board. All right, and then we have uh, Murray and uh, Julio, who both are considering uh, switching to HostAway. And of course, they're wondering, is this as, as painful as they think it's going to be, or is it a super smooth process? I wanted to ask, now that we have the honor to have Andrew here, could you share a bit what, what the experience is like when someone is, is switching their channel management uh, manager and PMS? Um, how... Do, do we provide any support with that? And, um, and what is the usual feedback that you get from, from the customers that you're helping? Yeah, that's a good question. It is a very short process. You know, we have an onboarding, but as you could see, you know, from the dashboard, it is a quite intuitive dashboard, right? So it's not like you would need too much training to understand how things work. But anyway, uh, we usually have around four meetings, you know, and we can get you all set up, of course, depending on the complexity, a little bit more. Uh, but that's you, the average, right? You should be able to learn how to create your automations, integrate all your listings, integrate uh, the OTAs. So it is a very fast process. And we try to make it as fast as possible because we know it is a pain point, you know, to change 
your PMS, right? We know that's not easy. You know, you have to change your process. You have to change the way that you work, you know? So we try to do that in a week or two, you know, so that you can be up and running, you know, with host away in the next two weeks. So we, we try to make it fast. That's a good thing for everyone, you know, and we can do it. You know, we have been uh, getting great results. It doesn't mean that we are in a hurry because after you move in, you still have the support 24, you know, by five, you know, you have uh, people working all the time around the clock to answer any of your questions, right? But the onboarding process itself, it's quite simple, you know, and uh, it doesn't take long takes a couple of meetings and we are all connected and we are Thank fully you. working there. Thank you. And do you gather any, any feedback from the, from the customers after the onboarding? Yes, usually, you know, it is like I said, they, they find it intuitive and they find it uh, uh, good that they can find in a single platform, you know, everything integrated, right? So it is one solution, you know, one stop shop. So every channel, every communication gets integrated here, all the financial information get integrated here. So the calendars all get integrated. We only use official APIs. We are uh, preferred partners or elite partners and uh, with uh, the main OTAs. So it is a no brainer. All right, thanks, thanks a lot. And um, I think if anyone is wondering what it's like, go on. Just Google for Hostaway reviews and, and read other people's opinions. Um, I think Andrew gets a lot of direct feedback from our customers and um, I can say from what I've seen, it's it's very good. And we even got Roy here who says that Andrew is a solid guy, does a great job. Um, but of course we have a big team doing onboarding. Uh, there's one, one question here from Vince, we're running low on time here. He has existing listings of Hostaway, thinking of opening up to booking.com. Um, can we export that on booking.com or should we create those listings again? No, you can absolutely export them uh, to booking.com. Um, you, can, you can go to support.hostaway.com, type in export booking.com. There are the instructions. You can also email support.hostaway.com um, if, if it doesn't, if you can't follow the instructions, but it's, it's an extremely simple process. Um, now we're going to take one or two more questions. So um let's see here i was gonna mention real quick also that i yeah. did my email address in the chat i saw someone asking for that it's in the chat i'm gonna put it in there again right now sounds uh sounds great and um let's see here what questions we have feedback cleaning fee <laughs> sorry some of these questions are super long um is Booking.com growing in the single family residence space? What percentage of the listings on the platform are single family residences? Maybe Don, you'd like to elaborate it since you're in, uh, in Orlando. How, how do you see, see it? Uh, well, we have well over 6 million of our vacation rental, pro of six, six million vacation rental properties on our site globally. Um, I think I may have missed the first part of that question though. Is it just how many, what, what's the mix look like? Yeah, exactly. Do you work yeah. with a lot of single family residents? Yes, it's, um, I don't have the, that hard number on that, but I, I know that we definitely have a, we're, we're a global leader in the amount of properties that we have, vacation rental properties that we have listed on our site. Um, so the mix is definitely strong and there's also lots of, lots of filters in our searches as well. Um, and we also, for, for guests, we, we, we do track guests on what type of properties they tend to normally book. So that also can affect the ranking too uh, when, they, when they come in. So, so we help those guests looking for those types of properties find them more easily. We have lots of tools to do that. All right, sounds, uh, sounds good. Then we got, uh, got some questions here about uh, uh, Booking.com's competitors, for example, Marriott and, and Google, and the answer to whatever question you have is, is yes, uh, we can do that. Um, but let's not dive too deep into those. Um, now, um, 
I think that's that's it. Don, do you see Don and Andrew? Do you see any more questions we we could answer? Well, uh, Marcos, would you like to leave the contact? You know, for anybody that would like to to get connected with Hostaway and they start being our client. You know, I had some questions here on the chat. Which email would you recommend to share with them? Very good. Please uh, reach out to sales at hostaway.com. If you, if you are on a tight schedule like most property managers are these days, then you can just go in on our website and book your appointment right away, assuming you have more than, a, than just a couple of properties. Um, but sales at hostaway.com, just let us know how to reach you and, and what, your, what your time zone is, what your availability is like. So if we can call you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time, then we will do exactly that. Um, if you if you have any questions on how to get live with booking.com, you can you can email support at hostaway.com. And if you're currently onboarding with us, then just talk to your, your onboarding specialist and they'll help you get going. Um, that's it. This will be available. Uh, this recording will be available online. Don and Andrew, it was a pleasure having you here. And uh, Don, any final words or wisdom? I just wanted to say thank you again for having us, for having me join and a great opportunity. You know, it sounds like um, we've got a few groups that need to come on board and I want to make sure that they have all the support that's needed. And um, again, we're performance based. So we want, we want to set you up for success uh, because we want long-term successful partnerships, but thank you all again. I appreciate it. Excellent. Thanks a lot. And uh, see you all next month. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.